More than 50 million dairy cows live worldwide under intensive farm management. A cow needs to give birth to a calf to give milk. I have 500 dairy cows on my farm right now. I'd like to milk more cows and increase yield, but unfortunately, I have to replace too many cows because they do not rebreed. This reduces the profitability of my dairy farm. Fertility is an important topic in dairy farm management. Imagine, I have to replace about 175 cows each year. That has a huge negative impact on my business. 35% of 50 million dairy cows are replaced every year. This means that per year, 18 million cows are leaving the herds. Put them in a line and you've got 42,750 kilometers of dairy cows. This is one time around the world. Cows not pregnant, after a reasonable period, are culled. Statistics worldwide show that 26% of cows are culled because of fertility problems. This adds up to 5 million dairy cows. Still representing a distance from New York to New Delhi. Financial loss per cow culled is 500 euros. Multiply this by 5 million and you've got a worldwide financial loss of 2.5 billion euros. These 5 million dairy cows have to be replaced by 5 million heifers. A heifer costs on average 1,200 euros. So we have a replacement cost for dairymen worldwide of 6 billion euros. Fertility problems are largely due to nutrition. To maximize fertility, a cow needs, for example, beta carotene. Beta carotene is a fertility vitamin in dairy cows. In the animal, it is accumulated in the ovaries, where it participates in the synthesis of hormones. Estrogen and progesterone are important hormones required for ovulation and for safeguarding the embryo. Tests show that an extra intake of beta-carotene increases conception rate and lowers the rate of abortions. But is that all? A cow should have a calf a year. To achieve this, I only have two slots in the cow's Easter cycle to rebreed her after calving. And the optimum time window is only 12 hours long. Every time I miss the slot where a cow is in heat, I lose 21 days and have huge financial losses. Another benefit of beta-carotene is that cows show better signs of heat, helping the farmer to breed them at the right time. How can this increase the profitability of the farm? One missed estrus cycle increases the calving interval by 21 days. Based on milk yield and milk price, each day longer in the calving interval reduces the milk income of the dairyman by 5 euros per cow. If 5 million cows can be bred 21 days earlier, the gain would be 525 million euros. And for 50 million dairy cows worldwide, this represents an extra 5 billion 250 million euros. If I can reduce my number of replacement cows by 20%, 35 cows less will leave my herd each year. This brings a benefit of 42,000 euros. 
Breeding my cows one Easter cycle earlier means about 500 kilograms more milk per day from my herd and 53,000 euro extra income per year. And the total gain? 95,000 euros. That sounds like good business to me.